Okay, Cancers, this is part two. Now, listen, I collected these cards that we just did, and I flipped the deck, and look what was on the bottom. Leo. Okay, Earth. Aries. So I feel like a lot of you are that boss energy. Okay, so. Okay, and then Water, your own element. Oh, and there you are. Okay, so I want to put that one here. Okay. I love this card. Okay. All right, so. Ooh, and the moon's right underneath it. So I really feel like uh, you're in your uh, element there. Okay. So interesting. Okay. Wow. Okay, so. And I feel like you use the... Um, fire energy to charge your dreams and the earth energy to uh, pull it in from that uh, dreamy uh, Neptunian uh, energy into the physical reality. Okay. Earth. <laughs> okay. Neptunian, Neptunian. <laughs> okay. Whatever that word is. <laughs> See, dolphin, that's joy. Okay, sacred breath and sound. Okay, that's what I, the ocean, the ocean uh, sounds. And okay, so it says life force and communication. I feel like this is deep within you, really wanting to get that perfect is what I have. Okay. Um, oh. This is looking like an Olympic torch to me today. Let me see what that means. I feel like you've really been on a crusade and then rallying people, okay, uh, for uh, whatever your cause is, okay. And um, so perhaps you felt like you've been some through some battles. Okay. And, uh, and felt like you needed to recharge your life force. Okay. Due to some fire energy uh, entanglements or uh, some other things could have been water. Okay. Or anything really. Okay. So I feel like now... Um, you are really starting to uh, learn how to open up, like truly show the side that's inside of you. Okay, that soft, tender side. Okay, so if you're harnessing that Aries energy, uh, you may not have been able to. Okay, so, okay, so here's sacred action decisive focus okay so I feel like you don't have a problem with that at all okay I just feel like that's what you're doing and then uh, innovation new creation yeah that's what I was saying in the last video okay part one uh, this was you looking to already on the next thing <laughs> innovation new creation <laughs> it's like next <laughs> okay let's see oh wow okay so they're showing me this okay these are all your thoughts okay and it, there's uh probabilities uh brewing here so uh you know as we are um uh, as we have decisive focus okay uh like really only giving energy to the things you want to create right okay and then um and then through that positivity uh new ideas for new innovations will come in okay oh so this is looking to me now also like um like the ocean belly okay all right, so uh, really learning how to embrace all the emotions that you go through. Okay, so in the 3D, that could have been uh, 
translated into like emotional eating or uh, we had the, the lion story in the first one, uh, imbibing, drinking. Okay, so... Um, Okay, so maybe um, when you do want to open up and become intimate with friends and colleagues, um, perhaps uh, limit the uh, limit how many drinks you have. Okay, maybe like one or two, right? And then the rest uh, drink uh, some other thing, club soda, Shirley Temple. <laughs> You're like, no, not the sugar. <laughs> okay, but you know, a seltzer, anything. Okay. All right, so miracles, ancient wisdom. Okay, I feel like if you do those the ocean exercise, I feel like um, you'll really tune into that. Okay, so um, what else am I getting there? Oh, I feel like that's the eye. The spiritual eye, your spiritual eye. Okay, wings of light. Becoming something new. Okay. Yeah, I feel like you're reaching for this. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else? Ooh, Scorpio came out again. Okay. So, uh, whatever that is, um, and Gemini came out again. So, communication is very important. But, okay, also I want to say is learn how to not sting when it comes to words so that uh, that kind of thing doesn't come back with a return on it, right? Okay, so, all right. So psychic ability and future vision, precognition. This is you really tuning in every day, taking the time to connect, okay, with your inner world. See, Mercury, communication. So uh, you might go look at Mercury and spend more time there um, because it keeps popping up. Okay, so water. Okay, and then this is you and your full element. Okay, so I feel like you get emotional when you try to communicate you know, intimate thoughts that you had, and um, and so there's something there. So uh, there are all kinds of things you could do to kind of uh, practice that, right? Okay, so maybe you felt like in the past... Um, if you had a few drinks, you could really let it loose, but then it maybe it didn't come out the way you wanted to. Okay, so, all right, so I feel like that's learning how to be a better uh, communicator and socializing better uh, with a clear mind and heart. Okay, so let's try some other cards here. Okay, action. Okay, this is the message I get. Action brings you joy, just like in your business. Okay, so I feel like that's the conception, right? Inception, conception is what I just got. Okay, so here's this. I feel like this is your spirit trying to create that beautiful flower. Doesn't it look like a flower to you? does to me okay your expression and then here is you and your joy okay all right so some of you may have a lot of children okay and dolphins are everywhere so I, I feel like that means the potential for joy is high it's it's just all around you all these these are all dolphins okay The swan. Okay, so this is the, I think this is the message of divine uh, beauty, right? Okay, kind of like Venus in the clam almost. But also it could mean uh, a mirror. It also could mean um, connection. Oh, I never noticed that. And there's these little dragonflies up here. I never even noticed that. Till now. 
Okay, so attraction. Okay, so maybe love is on the brain. Super moon. Okay, four, four. Okay, and dog. Oh, that's interesting that came up because I was, I was like trying to think about the, and here's the shark card. So I feel like you're circling. Someone's either circling you or you're circling someone. Purpose. Okay. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, so we were talking about the, the um, what was that? Oh, the, uh, we were talking about the lion in the um, Wizard of Oz. I'm going to have to go watch that movie again. But Toto, okay, so like Toto in Japanese. Okay, so it would be like the abbreviation of To. Toyo and Toki? Toyo and Toki. So then you take the two first uh, initials, it will be Toto, right? Okay. All right, so I feel like this is loyalty, wanting someone who is loyal. But I feel like instead you got some of that dog star energy. Okay. But that's not a bad thing. That's to raise you so that um, it's like blasting the doors open so that you can uh, really open your heart and have a really intimate connection that you've been wanting. Okay. So, and here is a woman here. So, um, okay. So there's a shark and the woman, is this a dolphin or a shark? That's the question. Hmm. Okay, so maybe there is a sense of protectiveness, wanting to be protected or protect something dear to your heart. Okay. Hmm. I'm getting like little child energy here with this one. She, it's like she's got this Cupid's arrow on bow here, right? Okay, so maybe that's that Sagittarius energy again, wanting to uh, extend your fire, okay, and share and have loyalty and have a nice, and then this is a dog too. This whole thing is a dog. Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay, so if you don't have a dog, you might be interested in getting a dog because I feel like it's like you're studying dog energy. <laughs> whether it's in the cosmos, dog star, or whether it's in this reality. Okay, that's interesting. Hmm. Because here, I don't know if this is a dog or a wolf. Not sure. Okay. What card is that that has the dog and the wolf, the tarot deck? Is that the moon? Hmm. Okay. Anyway, okay, so let's keep going. It says companionship dog. And purpose shark. Okay, so maybe you guys have a loyal partner. Okay, you thought they weren't loyal and they really were loyal. Okay, and uh, this could go in business too. Okay, um, so maybe something looked like it was like not going well, but then it turned out it was better than you expected the outcome. Okay, so let's see what else comes up. Well, 
Ooh, the unexpected fruition okay so whatever you had decisive focus on i feel like it's manifesting okay all right and then growth okay so i picked up learning curve something was a learning curve okay so uh and then here you're floating okay all right, so I feel like, yeah, you're high vibing. Whatever that was in the past, it's like, this is a five card. So I feel like that's done with. And then now you're you're creating something new. Okay. It's kind of saying the same things here. Oh, gorilla. Oh, I felt a sense of peace, a new sense of peace with you. Okay, and gorilla showed up. Okay. Oh, yeah, Toto, Toto, also um, in Swahili uh, means like, ooh, now suddenly I'm getting Mars energy again, the story of the Mars energy. Okay, so it's like they left Mars and they had to, Come to Earth and be like Earthlings. Okay. And uh, start a new life due to the past fighting and that anger and the heat. Okay. So, um, so then uh, the, a new beginning was started here on Earth. And I feel like this is kind of depicted in this card, even though I don't really know what this card actually means. Okay. So, um, like, see, there's, like, past smoke and stuff. Okay. I'm picking up little child again. Okay. So, I feel like that little child is you, though. Right. So, it was raised like a human child. Okay. So, I feel... This, okay, so I feel like that is, I feel like even though there is a story that the beginning was like uh, a big part of like Jerusalem and that area, but I'm feeling Africa, y'all, <laughs> right? I don't know why, but I feel like the Garden of Eve, Garden of Eden now is here and it's in Africa. Okay, so I don't know what that means, but I'm saying it, okay. Okay, all right, so, okay. Also, I'm getting Jane Goodall. I think that's her name, Jane, the lady who uh, studied the gorillas, and she dedicated her life, right, to the one thing. Okay, so I feel like the message here is, okay, um, once you feel really strong in your power, you can equally uh, spend your energy in other places. But it requires uh, charging every morning, okay? And um, so that your body does not uh, get depleted in the fire energy. So it's important to recharge. Think of yourself as the battery. Okay. Okay, and so like thinking, uh, okay, for example, sometimes all it takes is a facial massage or foot massage or even a full body massage. And you think, oh, you know, that's, that's for, um, that's for, uh, kind of, uh, frou-frou people, but, um, it's not, it, there's really something to that. Okay. Um, getting all the kinks out of your physical apparatus. Okay. Okay, deer. I'm getting deer in headlights. Sometimes you felt like that when it came to intimacy. Okay. But now, this is a power card. So, um, 
now I feel like you're going to be more open and being able to be more intimate. Okay, so they're saying it wasn't like you didn't have the ability to be open. Something was triggered, whether it was a family or a past lover or a marriage. Um, so take a look at that because that's what caused this, you know, not wanting to open up also. Okay. And then the wolf energy. Okay. Here's the wolf energy. Okay. So yeah, there's a sense of um, showing the inner you to the world. Okay. And that sensitivity and, um, okay. So perhaps in the past, someone mistook your uh, kindness for weakness. And that was far from the truth. Okay. So maybe that might be another reason. So take a look into that showing your authentic self. And then here's intuition every day connecting to your uh, energy within is crucial. Okay, and I see cat as Venus, lovey-dovey energy. <laughs> okay, so um, I feel like you're really protecting whatever it is that you love deep in your heart, and you may not be showing that to anybody. Okay. Okay, we're going to do this real fast because a bunch came out and I feel like a lot of it's uh, repeating. Okay, yeah. Okay, so this is your new creation, already looking to the new to expand. Okay, so I feel like this is your code, tuning into your own code within. Okay, and uh, what does this say? Beaver moon. So I feel like you've been working, working, working. So maybe it's time to kind of, uh, you know, uh, find new ways to do self-care, okay? And as you do that and, and um, your code that you wrote uh, before you came here uh, will, can be revealed to you, okay? And then you can see if you want to continue with that or uh, write all new, right? New code. Patience. Okay, Um a green corn moon. What is that? Okay. Well, with, with this card, what I'm getting is a portal. Okay. So I feel like you know how to get what you want. But it's like you've d just deciding whether, oh, now it's looking like your shell. Okay, are you going to come out of that shell and go into the cosmos of this love, or are you going to stay? Okay, uh, really uh, deciding on that, right? And there's a cute little balloon there. Okay, so I feel like you're just feeling really good. When you feel good, milk it. Okay. All right, so acceptance. Really accepting yourself is key here. Okay, and then, okay. This is showing up. Okay, this story here in this card, Fruit Bat, I remember this one. It says kindness. Okay, so being kind. But also what happened was this story, she wasn't accepted by the family. Okay, so then they kind of like um, ostracized her a little bit. And then she became friends and had like this, you know, life on her own. Okay, so... Um, all right, so look at that. Do you feel like you've been um, left out of something? Oh, the clamshell. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so you might go look into more clam symbolism. It was in the first video, but there might be more. Okay. All right, and then here's the masculine. Okay, assessing. Okay, so at some point, uh, the assessing will end. And then here's that elephant. That's what I was saying, Ganesh energy. 
Okay, so now I see deities as not something great outside of you. I see deities as ancestors, or it could just be mythology that you could use to help catapult you to higher uh, expansion. Um, so, but I always suggest that if you do um, decide to listen to the music or the mantras, know that the power is you not outside of you at, with some deity. It's within you, and then you can connect with the ancestors. Okay. The power is you. Okay. And I leave that with you, Cancer. Look at the eyes. 